well, got invited to something special. <clears throat> you know, as a kid, I had heard of raccoons, coons, coon hunting, but I'd never seen a raccoon. Maybe because we never once in my young life ever went to a zoo. But, uh, you know, the other thing was, at least in the areas of Oklahoma and Kansas where I grew up, <coughs> there apparently were no raccoons. You know, we weren't around any lakes or streams. But Skeet came around one day and said, Hey, we're going to go on a coon hunt. Would you like to go along? Yeah, hey, thanks for inviting me. I was excited about it. So the skeet told me, you know, dress warm, bring a flashlight, if you got boots, wear them, if not, put on heavy old shoes, because you're going to tromp through the woods. So I think I met him at school, and he headed up. And you know, I wasn't paying a lot of attention, but I know we didn't travel a long way, because it didn't take too long to get to the gathering point. And that must have been, I don't know, eight or ten cars. I think some had more than one in them, but, you know, some just drove out on their own. And, hey, several of them had pickups, and, the, and one or two cars had, like our old Chevy, it had, it had a, like a platform on the back. Anyway, obviously, several of them brought coon dog or coon dogs for the hunt. <clears throat> well, the group gathered in pretty promptly, you know. We weren't the first there, and... Certainly not the last, and all of a sudden, uh, everybody's getting the dogs out, and sunset's getting a little bit dark, and we head up into the hills, into the trees. And they turn those dogs loose, and hey, they're excited, and they disappear, whoosh, almost in a, in a row, and eh, a little bit of noise, but not much, and boy, it wasn't long, I don't think, maybe even four or five minutes, and they start baiting. And uh, other guys are following them, you know, and getting excited. And uh, the dogs start really making a racket. And then there's a deeper vein. And somebody said, hey, that's old. And they named him, and I don't remember what his name was. And when he makes that sound, he's hot on the trail. And it won't be long until he'll have that coon treed. Well, then I noticed something. They had been pretty much following the dogs. But now they heard where the sound was and knew they didn't know this area before. They knew something. That over in here is where that coon is likely to go and to get treed. So instead of following the dogs now, they cut across a shortcut. And sure enough, we got there, you know, I don't know, it was five, six minutes, but I mean, we were moving right along. And we got into an area of the bigger trees, and the dogs are, <laughs> they're having a, I mean, they're saying, that, uh, he's up there. And uh, the flashlights start beaming around. Oh, there he is. First, when I first saw him, it was just like the light hit and, and reflected on his eyes. And then, boy, once they located him, all those lights focused in on him. You can see a fair-sized cone up there. And holding on, looking at him, baring his teeth at those dogs. Hunt's over, right? No, no, no. First thing I know, they're throwing things at the... I start to say the poor little thing, at that coon. And then they're getting out some long sticks. Some of them carried sticks. I wonder what those long sticks were for. And they're reaching up there and shaking the lamb and trying to poke the poor little thing. And they finally do. They knock it out. And geez, there's eight or ten dogs down there rawr, 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 waiting to pounce on that coon and kill it. I gotta admit, I kind of got loyal to the coon. It doesn't look like a fair deal to me. <coughs> but you can bet it didn't say anything. Man, they dislodged that coon. He came down, he hit pretty hard, but man, he was on his feet before the dogs were on him. And boy, I don't know. I, some of those dogs are smart enough, they didn't just rush on in. And one or two that did rebounded, whining, they've been hurt. And yet the dogs are you know, getting in there trying to nip him and put him down. And all of a sudden he broke through and away he went, all the dogs after him. And I don't think he got half a block. 
and obviously from the sounds of things, the uh, dogs finished him off. And of course, some of the guys that ran over there like 60, and some dog was declared the killer. He'd gotten the coon. Well, you know, on the way back, it was rather quiet. And Scoot, Skeet didn't ask me if I'd had a good time. But I think he reached some deductions that I hadn't had really that much fun. And you know, strangely enough, I was never invited again to go coon hunting. And I expect I should have asked to go again. Might have grown on me a little. Years later, I read uh, Where the Red Fern Grows, and gee, it sounds pretty dead gum exciting to go coon hunting. Wasn't that exciting for me that particular night?